We live in a world where we can and do measure and optimize almost everything. When you wake up in the morning, an app tells you how many hours you slept, in what states, and how you can improve your sleep patterns. Your breakfast can be measured precisely on your phone in terms of its calorie count, its carbs and proteins, its sugars and fats. When you go for a run with your fitness watch, you aren't just using GPS to measure distance, speed, elevation. You're tracking your progress over time. And at work, you use digital dashboards and online workspaces that span continents. In almost every area of our daily lives, we have become incredibly adept at using data and technology to make ourselves better, happier, and more productive. These are exciting times, sure. But there is one area in which we have lagged. Education, especially for children ages 0 to 6. We are not paying attention to the brain development of each and every child because, until recently, that was impossible. But just like fitness apps and calorie counters, the world has changed. We can now use brain metric tools to give a window into the minds of our young learners. Tools that don't add more burden to the educator, but indeed make their jobs even easier. We are fueling brains, and we believe that the future of early childhood learning is happening right now. Most education systems, from preschool to post-secondary, focus on two areas, theory and content. The pedagogical approach lays the groundwork for the methods of learning, whether that's Vygotsky or Piaget, and then we fill in the content to suit that methodology. This approach is sort of like working out at the gym, following an exercise regime on a website that your friend recommended. It works, most of the time, for most people. But every body is different, and you're bound to meet challenges that don't make sense for you and your body, or you won't be challenged at all. Students need individualized paths, but a binary approach of theory and content can't provide this. That's where Fueling Brains comes in. We add the third area of brain development and, just like an AI-enabled personal trainer on your phone, we have the technology to make it work. Our system of brain metrics shows what's underneath a child's reading level or math comprehension. It shows where the brain itself needs to develop to underpin social skills, language, science, creativity, you name it. The core concept here is executive function, which is not what a child is learning, but how they learn. 90% of a child's brain is developed before they are five. And these developments aren't about memorizing words or knowing how to add. They are the core functions of learning itself. Executive functions dictate curiosity, discipline, collaboration, and creative thinking. It is the very foundation for all future learning, the first layers of the mental scaffold that will prepare a person for the rest of their lives. At Fueling Brains, we break these executive functions down into three core areas. Cognitive flexibility, inhibitory control, and working memory. Based on how a student is faring on these aspects of their development, we can not only determine what they need, we can figure out their brain type and chart a course for their education for years to come. Not just for educators and school administrators, but for parents too. Above all, the Fueling Brains model of brain development asks not what a child can't do, but what they can. It's what we call asset-based learning instead of deficit-based learning. And if you're thinking that this sounds naive or overly idealistic about children and learning, well, we have the data, the science, and the experience to back it up. We spend so much time optimizing our adult lives at work, at home, or even driving cars that are now more computers than they are automobiles. It's time we spent some of that energy on our kids. It's time we looked to the future of early childhood learning. It's time for Fueling Brains.